all right guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be going through my top five uh favorite albums slash eps um of february here <clears throat> um so starting off here at number five uh, we have an ep called 47 by chesel i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right i just discovered this guy um at the start of february here he had one song out which came out end of november i think but just kind of started gaining traction here this month and then he just followed up by dropping an EP on the 27th of February here, so just right at the end. Um, and it's like a six song EP, um, kind of like indie pop, indie rock kind of vibe from him. Um, definitely impressed from this EP and I'm glad to see, or excited to see uh, what's to come next from him. Uh, this year, hopefully we get some more stuff. But at number four, I have Scrapyard by Quadeca. I mean, the former YouTube rapper, coming out with this project it's crazy like his last two projects have been very good um and if you've been writing him off kind of like i did after he dropped his um last album writing him off because you knew he was a youtube rapper please don't do it go check it out it sounds absolutely nothing like what you would expect him to sound like and um like i don't even know exactly what genre to put this under but I will say my favorite song is Easier off of this mixtape. And number three, Sweet Boy Part 1 by Malcolm Todd. Uh, it's a five song EP, kind of like R&B slash indie pop type of thing. Like uh, it takes heavy inspiration from Steve Lacey. So if you like Steve Lacey, definitely go check this one out. Um, he's not doing anything too crazy on this. It's, he kind of just sticks to what he's comfortable with, but it's all right. It sounds good. It's good vibes. And I mean, sometimes that's all that matters. And at number two, uh, I have Loss of Life by MGMT, the psychedelic pop duo, their newest album, their first um, official album since their 2018 release. Um, and it's one of my favorite favorites of the year so far, honestly. Probably my second favorite album of the year behind um, just the album above it from this month. Um, and I don't know, it might grow on me even more, to be honest. I saw a lot of people kind of saying they're disappointed by it. But I don't know. I think it's very good. Definitely go consider checking that one out. Um, at number one, my favorite album of February is Vultures One by Kanye West and Todd Dolla Sign. Now, I think this one could definitely drop because, I don't know, it's an album where, like, there's some really high highs on this one. You know, you got, like, Burn, uh, Fuck Some with uh, Cardi and Travis. And you got Stars, uh, Carnival with, you know, Rich the Kid, you know, comes out and acting like his prime self and obviously you get cardi on it but there's also some pretty low lows like the single vultures or even like king is not one of my favorites i saw some people defending that one i'm not a fan of that one at all and yeah i don't know um some of the content matter on this album is a little questionable considering what kanye has been dealing with um for the last couple years here but um yeah it was still a pretty solid record and i am still uh, excited to check out Vultures 2 and Vultures 3 and there's supposed to be a solo Kanye West album coming out sometime this year so I will definitely be looking forward to checking those ones out as well but anyway yeah that is it that is my five favorite albums of February and I know some of you guys are probably wondering where 2093 by Yeet is and I'm just gonna put it out there I do not like Yeet um, I don't know I've given every album he's dropped since like Too Alive a chance I don't know it's it's tough it's not for me it's not for me i've given it many tries i've tried to like his music and i just don't but anyway this is my list uh give me a comment on albums that you have in your top five from this month and um like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one